it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight? Really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's producing folks fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Black Mamba. And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out for All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are underway. <laughs> out of range with that one. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. He lands the head kick. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Look at that, right to the temple. And he's looking for that left. Oh, beautiful, beautiful oh! kick to the body. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Lee gets the over on him. Double underhooks in the clinch. Oh, oh, big shot! He's gotta be careful here. Big shots! There he swung with the haymaker. Oh, and that kick is blocked under three minutes now to go in the round. Huge kick misses. There it is, 
Watch the shot here, Joe. Almost hits him with that left hook. And he eats a kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. And he gets the single leg. Now he got cracked. Lands the inside leg kick there. Ooh. How about that shin? Going orthodox now. Nice inside leg kick. Oh! Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Good head kick there. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Again, the jab by Lee. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Round two is next. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Very impressive striking going on in that round. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. He's doing a great oh, good oh, he hurt him. He's gotta be careful there. Don't rush in. Nice punch by the big punches. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Constantly a moving target. Kick lands for him there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big left hand there inside. Oh! They're locked in a clinch. He locks up double underhooks. And now he's got that tie clinch, Joe. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. Tying up in the clinch here. And oh, oh shoot, oh, oh. He's gotta be careful here, he's in trouble. Oh, he might be out. Open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Blocks the shot. Okay. 
Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. That is one of the worst broken noses I've seen. Clean hook. Oh, Joe, spinning back fist. Takes a lot of practice to perfect that strike. Nice jab. And both guys really throwing with a sword. But right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the horn sounds indicating the end of the round. Significant strikes landed on both sides. Both fighters got a knockdown. We'll see who can make the adjustments heading into this next round. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. And here we see some excellent striking. Great power on that punch. Very exciting round. Mm, relax. Slow that heart rate down. It's okay. We expected... Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end oh. of that round. This could be it right here. He hurt him with that hook. Oh! Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change. Wow! Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. How about that chin? Three minutes to go in the round. He eats a high one. Nice jab by Lee. Visibly limping here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. to go in round three. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Big kick, but miss. Front kick to the face. Continues to eat power shots here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Joe really starting to pile up when it comes to the body strikes in the latter stages of this fight. Nice kick to the body. One minute. some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible striking on display in that round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste.
Okay, you ready? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Tagged him. It looks like he's injured. Just out of range with that left hook. Another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Absolutely. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Pummels in and double underhooks. He transitions to the tie clinch. Good defense there. All of those are blocked. Good uppercut. Now he's got over on Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. And they move out of the clinch. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Tags him. Hand speed, man. <laughs> Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, nice single. Look at that. Under two minutes now to go. Oh! Good power left kick. Really missed with that right hand. Well, this is live in real time. We didn't hit the replay button. Again, he gets cracked to the head. Oh! He is stumbling. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Just missed with that huge kick. He's down! Just missed with the left there. Again, they clinch. He's worked in that underhook now. It appears that cut is getting worse. He's got double underhooks, Joe. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Lands a knee to the body here in the clinch. Elbow oh! to the head, he's stunned. He's got him hurt here. And he's down. Unbelievable. That's a big hook. So there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down near the end of it, saved by the bell. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long? Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. And let's look at that from a different angle. Deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Here we go, fifth and final round. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And that hurts to look at, Joe. Nasty bruise on the outside of his thigh. He's gonna have fun walking around tomorrow. Trouble. 
Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Well, he continues to mix it up. Oh, he closed it! He's getting tagged. Oh, Ooh, tagged him. Defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Oh! Kicked him in the face! He's got him right here. Big shots! Oh, we heard him again. And now starting to snap off that jab. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Excellent feint with the kick. Seconds remain in the fight. Huge uppercut misses. Nasty oh, leg kick. Oh. He's not going to be able to continue. That's it. It's over. He landed a huge barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Yeah, that's a good stoppage there, Joe. The fighter stopped defending himself. He certainly wasn't intelligently defending himself, even though he was trying to keep himself in the fight. And again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. And let's look at that again. So a big win for him here tonight and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 53 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight.